G'day guys, Dan from The Fishing Guru again. Um, so, uh, blue swimmer crab time here in South Australia. There's heaps of them around. Uh, but, you know, one thing that I'm a really big ambassador of is, is trying to make sure that um, everybody adheres to the rules. We stick to, obviously, our bag limits, but also size limits. So, uh, as part of our um, commitment to that, we've decided today to show you guys how to make a basic crab meter. Um, so we, we do actually sell a commercial one. These have been laser engraved out of acrylic. Um, but uh, today we want to show you guys how to actually make one out of an ice cream lid. So the, the size limit in South Australia for blue crabs is 11 centimeters. It's pretty easy to knock something up, but we want to show you guys how um, we would do it if we didn't have access to a laser engraver um, and make it a little bit cooler, a little bit more of a, a guru theme to it. So. The first thing that I want to show you is a template that I've actually made up on a program called CorelDRAW. Um, so this is an A4 piece of paper um, and the, you can see that I've used the shell from a blue swimmer crab as the basis of it. Uh, and we've also got a cutout here which is cut out to exactly 11 centimeters. Now we're going to make this available via Facebook um, and potentially eBay as well. Facebook will just be a free download eBay we might just charge you know 50 cents for a piece of paper or I don't know whatever whatever these cost me to print up uh, and then of course postage as well um, but yeah just jump on Facebook guys and, and we'll upload it as a free file for you as long as you print it out via A4 um, and print it out on some adhesive A4 paper which is available via Officeworks or eBay or whatever um, then it will it'll work out to be the exact right size for you. So to start off with, all we need is one of those templates uh, which I've cut out from the A4 sheet. Uh, you need a ice cream lid or some other piece of plastic of some description. Ice cream lid was easily accessible and just makes it in time. And of course, blue is, is along the theme of the blue swimmer crab. Some scissors and a Stanley knife. So in order to get started, we just peel off just peel off the backing from our template. Oh, just like that. And then just stick it to the ice cream lid. I'm gonna to have to do it on a bit of an angle because this is a very, very small ice cream apparently. It's not like the great big four or five litre ones. Um, this one was only a little two litre tub, I think. So it only fits if I do it on the angle. Just like that. And then what all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the outline from the crab measure, uh, leaving this intact. We're going to tackle that with a Stanley knife to make it a bit easier and make sure that we keep it the right size. So just bear with me for a couple of minutes while I quickly tackle that. And if my daughter could stop eating a super duper next to my camera, that would be phenomenal. Thank you, daughter. So you bear with me, we're just cutting around the outline of the crab shell. Um, one of the things with this template as well is I've also, uh, you'll see in a minute when I show you, I've also put a provisioning for a hole. Um, just here, oh, just where my finger is. Just use a hole punch when you finish. I haven't got one on me at the moment. Just use one when you finish and that will allow you to connect the two utility clip or, or belt or whatever to make sure that you don't lose it while you're out on your session. So we've cut out the main shape, now we're just going to tackle this middle section with a Stanley knife. The reason why we do that with a Stanley knife is because it's really hard to cut in the corners with scissors um, and we run the risk of, of not cutting to the exact shape and then of course it defeats the purpose of having an actual, you know, specifically measured measure, so to speak. So bear with me. Uh, you can actually cut a little bit outside the lines uh, if you can't get exactly on, but make sure that you, if you're going to do it outside the lines, that you do it in this section, in the actual coloured section, um, because that's going to make sure that your measure is at least a little bit bigger than the legal size. Um, it can't hurt to have crabs a little bit over rather than a little bit under. So bear with, I'm just going to tackle that with the Stanley knife, I won't be second, maybe 30 seconds. Right, nearly there. There we go. Finish that off. So 
We've got our cutout. Last thing we've got to do, obviously, you want to punch a hole if you're going to utilize that. Last thing we have to do is just peel off the sticker that we put on there before. I couldn't actually get the ice cream sticker off the back, so we're going to have a super awesome crab measure. Maybe uh, try and find one a little bit bigger if you guys are going to try and tackle this at home. Uh, and maybe try and find one that actually has a removable label if you're worried about the cosmetic side of it. So there you have it, nice and easy. Um, if you're not sure how to actually measure the crabs, check out, we do have another video. Again, we, you know, we've always got videos after videos after videos. We do have a video that actually shows you how to measure the crabs in South Australia. Um, I imagine that that would also work for other areas of the world, other areas of the country. Just make sure that you check your local size limits. Uh, specifically, obviously, 11 centimeters isn't going to be the standard norm. So that's it. Um, check, check out our Facebook page. We'll, we'll load up uh, that template. Uh, we've also got a cockle measure or one that, that we'll stick up there as well. Um, and yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.